All right, so we've got the bottom all torqued down on this sucker. I just got the oil pump and the rear main back on nice and tight with some good silicone in there. So I have a gasket for this. Sean's got the oil squirters over there though. He's gonna weld those up and then I'll get those going back in. I'm gonna roll this thing over and get the head studs going in it and then get the head going on, but it's coming along great, pretty awesome. All right, so we've got the long block pretty much all assembled, timed out. We need to go ahead and start valve washing now. Let's do this thing.
All right, so I need to reassemble Mikey's head. The machine shop put this beautiful foray of Ralph train in it. Now I just need to go ahead and get the rockers and everything back in there. All the pins and stuff. Pretty awesome. Love me a VTEC head. Woo. All right, so we got Mike's head all assembled as well as Jose's long block pretty much all assembled over there as well. We just need to put the pickup and the oil pan on it. So it's really, really close. All timed and everything. I don't have the valve cover on the top either, but we're getting really, really close. On Mike's short block here, I'm almost done, but I've got to ask Jamie to ask him a few questions because I did not take this thing apart. I've just been running through this tote here for parts and it looks like I do not have my timing gear and the nut for this. So I'm just gonna have Jamie ask Mike a few questions if he's got those things or if possibly they got lost in like movement of everything because this all the parts were originally dropped in the dyno bay and then I moved them over here. And so maybe, you know, a nut and a gear could have made off in that short amount of time, but I don't know. We'll definitely have to figure it out and keep moving forward. This thing is looking really, really good though, guys. We've got pretty much everything else. I mean, he's got a whole nother tote. I went through that one as well. And that one's got everything for another block, a second H22. So he wants a spare motor put together as well. And that's pretty cool. But um, that one didn't have those few things either. So he probably has parts from both motors in another tote or something back home. And uh, we'll get that all situated and figured out. I'm excited. This is awesome. We've got tons going on around here and the CRX is looking great. So I'm just waiting on those oil squirters to be welded up and then I can get this one all buttoned up and covered up. I got the valve cover on there, sealed it up. I uh, put a bag on my Hughes, sealed that one up. Everything's pretty much ready to where I could probably take it off the stand and get the clutch going on. But H's are heavy and I'm not gonna just go ahead and lift the short block off myself. Definitely gonna get some help for that. but. I uh, just did a little bit of maintenance, you know. Sometimes you gotta take a minute and uh, take care of your stuff. So I just fixed the throttle on my go-ped here. My throttle is really, really rigged and not the best, but I just worked it up. I got a little spring on the backside here so that there's some tension on the blade and it works a lot better now. Handlebars are fixed. My handlebars broke uh, probably a year ago now. My buddy was riding it and then they just snapped on them. So get those taken care of, make sure I got full penetration and it'll be rideable again and I'm excited for that. It's been a long time and I miss this thing, dude. It's, it's a blast. So I was checking out the GoPad and it was just the slip tube that broke. The handlebars are actually fine. So I built a little custom slip tube out of just a piece of DOM. The slip tube is actually inside of this piece because the DOM is too big but I put the slip tube in there. I hammered this piece of DOM over the slip tube all the way down to the bottom. And there's a slight little bit of play in the handlebars, but just about as much as there are in Gordo's handlebars on his scooter right here. So he's over here messing with his and trying to clean it out and mess with the spark plug and stuff to get his to run. It's ran before, but it's been a while. So he's got the big foot and I've got the sport. We're gonna go out riding once we get these things fired up, but we need to get some two circle oil and a little bit of things. So. Well, it'll be a second, but not too long. I'm right there with Jose's. Just need the oil squirters and then the bottom stuff, and we'll get that thing buttoned up. And Mike Hughes is right there as well. I need to track down some things and get that thing buttoned up and uh, send those both home. I'm pretty excited. So I'm pretty excited to get some more cars out of the PSCA events. All right, guys, we got the GoPed all fixed up, and I just went out and I went ahead and raced the little electric scooters we got for the track. Smoked it. Woo! Smoked it, man. Jamie was riding the electric scooter, and I walked away like he was parked. Oh, the GoPed, I miss it. So fast. It's great. And we don't even have the, the rad built motor. We just got a regular GoPed motor. It is a little built, a little aftermarket, but it's nothing special. Whew. What a rush. Love love the go pads good morning guys so sean got those squirters all welded up we welded the uh we got those things bolted in there my throttle body just showed up for the gato intake manifold ross machine racing one right here bolts are taped into the back we got the o-ring that's awesome so i'm excited about that as well as gordo brought the sleeves so once we get his motor out we will be able to 
take these sleeves to the machine shop and get those going in his little B16. We've had those sleeves for 10 years. We've had these B16 sleeves hanging out. We, Gordo checked the shipping on them the other day and they were mailed to us in 2012. So I mean, not quite 10 years, but 10 years. And then as well, he just got a new. All right, Gordo, tear into there. Show us what you got. I hooked it up, bro. For this whole kit. For this cool little coolant return. Nice. Thing. Huh. Nice addition instead of having that that big plastic one in there. Yeah. Make it look nice and clean. Get right some on. Mounts and everything in there. Look good. Yeah. So right on. The sleeves over there. Yep. Those aren't from Max Speeding Rod. Nope. I showed them the sleeves too. Yep. I told them we had them for 10 years. Yep. Yeah, that's just crazy. Thing says 2012 on it. It's <laughs> crazy, man. Crazy. 2021 is almost over, so yep. pretty much 10 years. Yep. And then we got this sick 90 millimeter Ross machine racing throttle body for the CRX. We need to get that bolted on. And then that's a coolant overflow. Yeah. Right on. Overflow. Right on. Make the engine bay look a little cleaner. Yeah. Get the, for sure. Get the OEM plastic one out of there. Yeah. And I think that's from like some like 05 Accord or something that we found because it's got this weird long neck and then it opens up at the bottom. So yeah. But yeah. this will fit great. Yeah, that'll fit great. We had an S2000 one in there for a bit too. Yeah. It's it had a different, it had a different yeah, couple overflows. Yeah, it was but cool. right on for the uh, Civic, the EF from Max Speedy Rods. So we'll get that installed up in there as well as getting the block sleeved. That's pretty epic. We're gonna just keep moving forward and getting things done. This is awesome. I'm really excited. And uh, we'll clean it up a little bit so we can bring in the Accord and dump the motor out of that guy. Woo! Epic going on we got lucky it bolted up first try <laughs> were you worried i mean we just assumed it was mustang bolt pattern we didn't really check so <laughs> you just guesstimated yeah a lot of things are it's a common bolt pattern for intakes all right let's get the allens and tighten this thing up Woo! oh rings in there Up a little bit. Ah, falling down. Thank you, Gordon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here. Since that one's got a circle, you can kind of do it at a weird angle if you need to. Yeah. That's what I like about those kind of islands. Yeah, they got the little wobble in. Yeah. It's good for running them down. Once you go to tighten it, though, you want it relatively square. Figure this out. You might need to grab the short one. I 
Whew. So, got the Accord coming along pretty good. I've got oil and coolant all drained out of it. Harness is pretty much unplugged. I need to start pulling it out from underneath the car. I've got the passenger side axle out. Driver one's still in there. I'm working on it. Uh, got the wheel off. Got the axle started to come off the half shaft. I just need to pop the ball joint and stuff and actually get it off. I pulled the radius rods in this front mount. I'm gonna pull the front mount all the way out. And then I started also getting the exhaust manifold off. One bolt away. I just needed to go underneath to work on the bottom. Get everything all cleaned up off the engine and then just drop this sucker out. It's pretty sweet. All right, so I got the header out. I got the traction bar out. This past driver's side axle's all out now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the T-bracket bolts and then I'll bring it back down and I think we're about ready. We can drive the motor. Getting really close. I've got all the grounds, all the powers. I need to unhook the AC condenser. Um, I need to undo that coolant line. I think we're right there, guys. Epic. So just a few things. And look at this thing dropped out of here. Be heartless. Sorry guys, I'm slacking a little bit. Got the motor coming out now, raising the car up. I've got it on a ATV jack. Oh, I see a problem. All right, so I need to move the motor out of here now before I go too high because of the exhaust. All right, so we got the motor all, act, all out on an ATV jack. We're gonna go up in the air with the car right now and then uh, try and get that ATV jack down. I've got it on the locks right now, so it won't drop, but whew, what a pain. Wasn't too bad pulling the engine out of this thing, honestly. Pretty clean up in there. It's gonna be really, really sweet to see more people out there driving and learning and growing. Thanks for tuning in guys. Like, comment, subscribe down below. This is Goodwill and peace out.